Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you a little doll room, toy room tour. Basically a pull-up doll tour. This is my, my opened dolls, although Madoka Kaname lives in the basement, is here upstairs in my dance mini dance studio. I have the camera on wide angle lens. So this room is actually a lot smaller. And this is little Mika's nook that I have to tidy, but her blanket is always all over the place. And she's already looking at me like, why are you touching my stuff? Sorry. So this is my dancer bag that I have to look through. I am working tonight, so I don't have to put it away. Normally I put it away in my closet. This is my closet. And I normally just tuck it under here. So without further ado, let's go over these opened out of box dolls. So I usually um, close the drapes because the UV light does, um, you know, it fades out things and it fades out everything over time. So just get back to the regular lens here. I don't want to um, have my dolls fade out. So I'm just gonna start, I think, I'll start down here. Makes a lot more sense. So this is Pelopa Suka, and I have her in this Kigurimi, if that's how you say it. She's adorable. She's got really gorgeous hair. Oh, there goes your little plush heart. And it has this keyhole for the hair. This is Starry something dolls. I know I have the um, business card. If you're interested, I can um, put it in the comments. So just comment below if you want to know where I got these. I believe she's in Spain. These were the socks that came with her stock outfit. Somebody's hair there. Probably one of Greg's. He's so hairy. This is Polyptifona Innocent World. And her dress is actually on this uh, doll that I painted over here. So that's her stock dress. But she also is in one of these Kigurimis. She doesn't have socks. She doesn't like wearing socks. This is her Calico Critter Stuffy. And this is not her original wig. So we did open her head up to thicken her eyelashes. This is a wig that my friend gave me. And her original wig is actually on this girl. So this is a uh, pull up with a girl. Pull up with a girl. <gasps> this is pull up girl with the pearl earring. Pardon me. And she did have some trace plastic on her forehead. So if you shop at JP Groove, you'll see. It'll be like, might have trace plastic on the forehead. And that is just something that happens when they're in their packaging for a while. Um, this is sold doll, as you can see, also has it. A little bit of plastic on his forehead, which I'll probably be able to get out with a magic eraser. But, yeah, we had to open her head up to change her wig. So that's that. This is Nanette Erica. She's gorgeous face up. And she actually also has like this lace kind of cape robe. Her outfit's very sparkly and oh, I just realized something. She had these little bracelets that, you know, I was like playing with her and now they're not, oh no. Those bracelets are hers. Oh my goodness, I was freaking out. I think that they kind of, like these three kind of look like sisters to me. So that's why they're all on this shelf together. This is Pilip Rouge. She's like a holiday doll. And she's got pink eyes, which I think kind of make her look a little evil. She had wonderful accessories as well. Like this is removable. Both these girls have great value. They came with purses necklaces, accessories. She has a jacket, like a little pink bolero that's in here. So one day I'll do a tour of all my pull-up doll clothes, maybe. I got um, this little table for like $5 on AliExpress. Same with this little set. It came with two cups and it's wild because this lid is like not attached. So you can actually fill the cup. Now it's kind of a shame because her hair, I want to like clip it back because She's got gorgeous face up. Y'all don't prefer that. 
I was gonna say I hate that, but I don't prefer that these are showing. So I'm actually like thinking of painting this entire wall purple. If you have a different suggestion, let me know. But I love her eyeshadow, it's like dark purple. And then she also came with like a coat, um, boots. So she had great value as well as these shades. Here is a mocha kit that I did on my own. So she's like the third face up, second face up I ever did. And my friend gave me this wig. She needs some shoes, but I'm thinking of changing her into Kirsch's stock outfit, which is like red to kind of match her face up. And I also uh, like did this one heart on her one eyelid, if her eyelid will close. Maybe not right now. Let's see here. Just a second, I'm gonna... There we go, that zoom in was not working. There we go. Her eyebrows I did um, just a little too high, I think. There we go. But I still actually really like her eyebrows. I think I do have to lower them though. I think they're too high. But luckily her bangs kind of cover them. So what I'll do is I'll sand it off and reseal it and then do them again. No problem. Now it's a shame because if you don't clean the eyelashes, side note, um, very welly, then her eyelid can stick. I had to get off camera to uh, fix her eyelid. So now we have Dal Manuel. I just recently unboxed her, reviewed her. If you wanna check out these videos. Um, she has this adorable backpack. She's kind of the reason why I got her was for the backpack. And also she's got this 80s vibe. Like I love teal. I've got teal leggings on and then she has teal socks. And then she has these adorable little platform shoes. So I feel like she's like an it girl. And that probably these socks aren't the socks for her uniform, but she just decided to wear them anyway. Um, pull up Yuki. She's from like a Japanese kind of like horror, comic horror film. And I guess she's more rare because she's got the one red eye and then the one black eye. Gothic Lolita. And I got that from a friend. I got this one on um, Kijiji. This is Taiyang MJ. And I got it from my son, but he said he wanted this doll to live with the other dolls. And so, pardon me, we are changing his wig I think this weekend unfortunately his knees are like pilling but then Alice was all super punk rock and I'm like yeah actually it is but then it gets like flaky and it makes um the doll wall kind of messy so here's Pulip small lady princess now I got her on Kijiji as well for a hundred dollars which is a great price she's got this adorable little clutch and girl with the pearl earring is actually wearing her shoes. Unfortunately though, I didn't know that she had like this stain on her dress. I don't want to show you. Her clear straps were missing as, as well as some of her accessories, but I thought she was a good price and I got her because her wig was good. But if you know anything about doll, pull-up dolls, they are not very sturdy. So she is sitting because she does not stand very well. This is a dress that I made um, without a sewing machine. And just like fabric glue for under $15. I made a video about that if you want to check it out. She's wearing um, Tifona Innocent World wig because she had that plastic that I wanted to cover. And then her eye chips are from Starry Tail Dolls. Now Jack is laughing. She's also another, is she the first? I think she's the first Mio that I did. Part of my camera skills. Let's focus here girl. Um, her eyebrows are not too high, which is good. And then she's got like black kind of ombre. See, so it's like doing it again. And I thought that I cleaned these pretty thoroughly. So you usually just kind of like press the eyeball and it'll pop back up. She's got some freckles. She's in this really cute kind of tomboyish kind of outfit. My girlfriend made me this cute little matching like two top like kind of pole dance outfit. Now these two girls are dating. I gave them names. Um, <laughs> now I can't remember. One's is, one is Natalie and I think the other one's Evelyn. But this is actually, oh no. 
yeah, no, I'm drawing a blank, pardon me. This is actually Dal Natalie though with the nurse outfit, but my girlfriend has the nurse outfit on one of her dolls. And she's in uh, outfit select, select outfit, outfit selection official. That came with the boots and the blouse, the neck, the, ne the neck scarf, the necklace, the jacket, the hat. Again, eye chips from Starry Tail Dolls and her wig is from Pull Up Veritas Crimson, who's actually customized and sitting over there. Now this is Pull Up Lunatic, Pull Up Doll, Dal, Pull Up Family Doll, Dal. She's got like really cool eyeliner. And she is in an outfit from Bunny Kawaii FTW on Etsy. Really cute, I thought it was like kind of 70s vibe. And then I put her hair in a little side pony. So moving on, we've got Pull Up Chelsea, who is an earlier model, and she's got her little calico critters stuffy. She also comes with a jacket and a hat that is in storage and little silk underwear. Homura Kemi, which I have her eyes closed because I wanted her to be the original Homura but her eye chips were customized, which looks so pretty on her. They're blue, but I want to put her in purple eye chips. Pull up Hello Kitty. 45th anniversary, gorgeous. She's got that purse. And she has amazing face up, like red, black. Her lips are quite plump too. We've got Black Lady, her evil lady. Probably fix this bottom arm. I was trying to do a TikTok with her, so she kind of is in a weird position. We've got some scouts. These are ones that I could uh, get at their retail price. The other ones are scalper prices now on eBay, unfortunately. Uh, I did a TikTok about her. It's actually really funny. I said she was an aristocratic brat, and she is. As you can see, she has like her whole own shelf and all these toys but she's an angelic pretty doll and she has an amazing outfit unfortunately though if you're thinking of buying this doll this tiara is like not attached to the hair so when I opened her up it's in one of my live streams like her face was just slightly scratched you can kind of see she's missing a little bit of lipstick there and then there's like those two little black marks by her right side um, corner of mouth and I was really 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 disappointed now this is the third um, face up that I've done she's kind of like a creepy girl uh, it's like she has like a spirit and she's in a dress that I got for free from buying a doll on eBay it came with this cute little yellow hat okay up here we've got Pull up core and Okita Isol, Yuha, Buketong, and then we've got so this is Nella, but her eye chips were changed, purple eyelashes were added. You can see those, and her wig. But she's in her stock outfit. Then we have, this one's pretty famous, but now her name is escaping me. She's an earlier doll as well. Why is her name escaping me now? Either way, she's super cool and her wig is amazing. She's in her stock outfit and she also came with like this really cute hat. It's kind of like a top hat that's like, Similar color as her outfit, but kind of a different fabric, almost like a newspaper print. Pull up Banshee. I feel like it's with a P. Comment below if you know who this doll is. I'm, I'm just seriously drawing a blank. So she was also um, amongst the first dolls that I got from my friend Alice, who's like a hardcore toy collector. She's like my toy crush. Now Isul, I just unboxed him recently, did a review video of him. He has that indentation in his forehead, like very interesting. 
He's the frog prince and his name is Carol's. Oh, my shoulders. Oh, and finally we have Paula Kirsch, also an earlier model. She's in an outfit select, selection outfit from JP Groove. And Pulip Veritas Crimson. So she has this Lutz, Lutz wig, which is actually really thick and gorgeous. Again, eye chips from Starry Tail Dolls. And this outfit is Ropitas Kawaii. It is great value on Etsy. She has amazing doll outfits. You've probably already seen them, but if you haven't. So, so far, um, aside from Madoka Kaname, I just did a video about her. This is my doll wall and collection so far unboxed. So I do have some dolls in their boxes still. And leave a suggestion for what color you think this wall should be. I was thinking of mixing with baby purple to match the armoire. Or I have like some peach downstairs as well. I don't know yet. Let's close these up and protect these gal, gal pals. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.